Popular meals in Dubai based on neighborhoods. So a delivery app has revealed the most popular takeaway dishes in different neighborhoods from Dira all the way to JLT. Let's get your thoughts on this and let's see how right this is because some people are questioning its accuracy. I'll tell you that now. The takeaway map shows just how popular food is in these areas. Do you want to take the location and I'll go with the food? Okay, let's do this. So Dubai Marina. Apparently, the most uh, sought-after meal in Dubai Marina is margarita pizza. I, I so get that. Okay, Dara. Crispy salmon skin sushi. Huh. Uh, downtown Dubai. Rigatoni bolognese. That sounds fancy. Yep, sounds about right. Greens. <laughs> Katsu curry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. JLT. Birria, which is like a Mexanese dish. Mexanese. Mexanese. <laughs> Mexican dish. Um, and Jumeirah. Breakfast sandwich. I get that. I get that. Jumeirah is a breakfast Do you get breakfast that breakfast spot. sandwich spot? Full on. No way. 100%. That should be salmon skin sushi. Jumeirah. No, that's more of marina. That's more of like downtown, I would say salmon skin sushi. Or business downtown, bay. Business bay business salmon skin bay. sushi. Yes. Jumeirah breakfast sandwich. I'm thinking there's... there's Jumeirah. 100%. Or like burgers. There's so many burger spots there. It's so great. Burgers, I guess. But I think Salmon Skin Sushi is more business than DIFC, right? Mm. Right? Yeah. Okay, Motor City. Chicken Sandwich. Mm. Mm. Uh, Satwa. Chicken Strips. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, uh, we obviously posted this on Instagram, uh, created by Deliveroo, and it does make you think about all the amazing dishes that is coming out of Deliveroo to, to, to serve the masses. Now, what people said were they questioned Dira, mm-hmm. that the main question was Dira and the crispy salmon skin roll. They're thinking, this is a shawarma area. And yes. They said it's more of a shawarma. Then they said, what about dosa? Uh, yes. And then people were like, why didn't you mention Dira? They should have put shawarma and Dira. Like karama is missing. Okay, uh, dumplings, momos, dosas. Like a lot of like key dishes of those areas are not there. Oh, salmon skin sushi roll. It, that's so a, random. It's, it's just niche. Then they said uh, Marina, Marina peeps be drinking coffee all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then people are saying, where is the birria from? So that's the Mexican dish. And people are saying either Chalcos love Chalcos. Tacos, oh yeah, uh, which is a JLT or maize tacos. So they're obviously there's there's some type of a good dish coming out one there, and they're obviously smashing that over to birria, authentic Mexican birria. Apologies for the pronunciation butchering. Can be enjoyed as slow top uh, mm, stew topped with onions, cilantro, and a squeeze of fresh lime, uh, and you get it in tacos and things. Oh wow, mm. it actually sounds quite does tough-ish. sound great. But, you know, I'm surprised how, how the staple food, takeaway food for JLT is not just pit fire pizza yes. and their garlic knots. Like, well, no, we but, survived on their garlic knots every day we were in JLT. But JLT, low-key, is the best place for food in the city. That's so right? true. Right, because you've, yeah. you've got the Mexican, you have mm-hmm. like Peruvian, you have ramen from... Oh, it's, oh, yes. it's not really done. Yes, yes. Um, but there's just so much there. It's mm-hmm. impossible to choose. Great. And then breakfast at Splendor Fields. It's just nonstop. But we've chosen pit fire pizza, garlic knots for pit breakfast, fire lunch, pizza. and dinner. And just any of the pizzas. Is just... Oh, they had, uh, what was the name of that restaurant? Common Grounds? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good breakfast spot. Was that in JLT? Yeah. Oh, Unmasked. in the building. Yes. And now they've opened Splendor Fields, oh, Splendor which Fields. is even bigger and it's open and it's like it's outdoor indoor, so it's perfect for the winter. Ooh. And it looks out onto the grass and then they've got Hawker Boy upstairs. Oh my God, and do you remember? Do you remember Bistro, the deli? I think they changed oh, it to the deli. Oh, Bistro Deli. We used to work. What? Cluster was that? Cluster I. Cluster I, our old yeah. loving office. Best coffees. And croissants. And almond croissants. Oh my God, croissants. Can we just talk about croissants? Only if. Like the buttery. Only if someone would just flaky. open that door and bring us. Crispy, warm. Crispy, warm. There, you know, there is that perfect croissant and then the supermarket croissants, which just don't do any justice to croissants. I counter that. I think sometimes you can find great croissants. There's a random, um, I've seen this thread on Facebook, and it's like, where is the best croissants? And you have all your fancy places, and there's one uh, service station that yeah. people are like, this is the best croissant. It's like Costa does a really great almond croissant. You yeah. wouldn't expect it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Up there. Stop. <laughs> does anyone know the service station I'm talking about that does amazing almond croissants? If you do, please drop it in the comments. Uh, much ha- appreciation. Hamptons have this rose croissant. Oh. Oh my God. If you're into like a little bit of sweetness, like rosiness with your croissant, that's so good. But honestly, the best one that we've had, would you not say, is from that bistro? Yeah, bistro Delhi. was really great. Yeah. I counter your rose with a pistachio from Society. It's impossible. They're all oh. great. We digress. <laughs> oh, but Carrefour does have good croissants. Really? Crispiness and stuff. But anyway.